Hello, my name's Eric Coopers. I'm a professor of dance and inclusive performance at Cal State East Bay in the theater and dance department. And one of my main teachers reminded us over and over again that everything that has a beginning has an end. And so today I'm here to film the final video of our 2020-2021 Healing the Trauma of Racism Altar, which has been a collaboration between the theater and dance and the social work departments. And it's been a way for us to process the immense grief and violence and uh, trouble in the United States, really all over the world, um, around race and racism and uh, police brutality and just uh, a general unconsciousness and ignorance and harm that's been done, especially to our black brothers and sisters, but to all people of color, to all marginalized people, to indigenous peoples, uh, people with disabilities. So uh, a chance for us to, to foreground the struggles and the lives of, of uh, black folks in our communities, but then to also include all the intersectional allies. So I'm going to give you a last tour of this altar before we have to take it down. It's time for us to um, to let it go. And it's, it's been up for almost a year and has been a powerful gathering place for rehearsals, events, the Inclusive Performance Festival, Wandering in the Wilderness performances, and more. So I'm going to take us outside and then show you the whole altar. Here we go outside. This is the University Theater at Cal State East Bay. And I'll show you the outside part of the altar. Let's go first to the description. This is our Healing the Trauma of Racism altar. And there's a long description here, a version of which will be posted in the description of this video. And then we have a series of photos around protests, getting out the vote, and uh, supporting Black Lives Matter movements. Here is Saraswati, um, painted by Mayumi Oda, a print of a painting by Mayumi Oda, a goddess of arts and learning and education. Our poster of our first annual inclusive performance festival, we are on indigenous land, more voting and uh, civil rights protests. The, the creation of this altar came before the 2020 presidential election and after, so it's sort of on both sides of that very important election. This is how to be an ally to indigenous peoples, kind of a first, first step. Um, up here we have a, a say their names, rest in power, sort of horizontal collage, uh, starting back with James Earl Cheney and Medgar Evers, but not catching everybody, but looking at all the black folks who have been killed by racist violence. And, um, this is just one side of it. On the other side, each of these is double-sided. So. And then this great quote by James Baldwin, not everything that is faced can be changed, but nothing can be changed until it is faced. More voting, Black Lives Matter, uh, intersectional allies, one child, one teacher, one book, and one pen can change the world. This is a poster for Blood at the Root, the, the production our theater department did this past fall. Probably my favorite quote of this year, the times are urgent, let us slow down by Bayo Akomolafe. Rosa sat so Martin could walk, Martin walked so Barack could win, Barack 
could run, Barack ran, so all our children could fly. Just important to remember all that. Trayvon Martin. And let's go inside. Um, oh, I'll show you up here. Nobody's free until everybody's free. Fanny Lou Hamer. And this beautiful cloth, purple cloth, that Diane Wood from Social Work brought. All right, here we go. So we'll start at the center of the altar. We have these rocking chairs here that people can sit in and rock and reflect. So George Floyd's killing was really the, the spark that lit the fire for so many things, including this altar. Um, a lot of the central works are by Diane Woods and her students, the social work students. And we wanted to focus on black folks in the center of the altar and then let it spread out to include allies and um, other marginalized folks. Um, the center kept getting bigger and bigger. Social work students kept bringing in more great poems and collages and paintings. So we, we ended up spreading all the way to the end of the lobby, but we'll get there. Here is some Ikebana and origami by some community members, uh, friends of Diane Woods. These long uh, black and white vertical strips are black artists. Collage I made of all different uh, black artists from all different genres. Our students brought in stuff. This was from Marley. We have drums. Poems by social work students. Contributions by theater and dance students. One of our students, Chantel, brought in t-shirts. One for Rosa Parks and one we'll see later for Nelson Mandela. Some of our black faculty. More artists. Reminders about Ohlone land. Um, these paintings were from a anti-racism process painting workshop that Catherine Palmieri led um, earlier on in the year. Lots of artwork from various cultures, Hawaiian wind, paint, uh, print. Uh, we have a book by one of our faculty authors in theater and dance, Kimiko Guthrie, Block 17, which connects the Japanese American internment to ancestral trauma and healing. This is from Maureen Scharberg, who was, made something to celebrate her Irish ancestry as a ally. Buddhist art. Now we get to the anti-doldrum deer drum, which has been built slowly over the course of the last two years. And it's the deer drum because there's all these um, bones from a carcass of a deer that are our, our uh, administrative support coordinator, cat seer, found and cleaned. They, it was a carcass on campus of a deer that had died. So this makes music when you, when you roll it along. I'll, I won't take it very far, but just give you a little sense. So lots of opportunities for sound experimentation. And now we'll head over to the other side of the altar. While we're going, this is our Kamala wall. Um, it was very exciting to us all in the department and those working on this altar um, when Kamala Harris was elected as our first person of color, first black person, first woman, first uh, South Asian person as vice president. Big moment. So now we come back past center of the altar, this quilt that Diane made. 
And we get into artwork collages by um, social work students and faculty and friends. More origami, more uh, black artist collages. And then these great collages, drawings, paintings, prints, honoring uh, folks who died at the hands of racism in this country. Other art pieces, drums, more uh, process paintings, blood at the root poster, photos, pictures of icons and protests. Um, one of our uh, office or hallway mates in the Department of Theater Dance is Dave Matsuda, who retired this year, um, but was a really great collector of all sorts of items. And this was one of the things that he donated to us, this beautiful, I forget what you call this, diorama, I guess. And these little um, heads. There's a lot more on here from, from Dave. Buddhist Tonka painting, Avalokiteshvara, the Bodhisattva of Compassion, Freedom Riders from the 1960s, more contributions from students, sacred objects. Just a side note, here's our metal object uh, gathering place. This was for the Wandering in the Wilderness piece and our hoop skirts. We were using hoop skirts all year for physical distancing in an artful way and they became part of Wandering in the Wilderness. That project will be going on for 39 more years. It's a 40 year project, so check it out. And, oh, and we'll come back and see the inside of the Rest in Power, say their names. Horizontal collage, it's probably hard to see because it's a little backlit, but just give you a sense. drum set. <laughs> We've been having rehearsals here with our band Ultrasonic Current, with the Wandering Ensemble. Different groups have filmed videos, dances, all sorts of pieces here. Let me check my focus. So this was a longer video than some of our others, but it's the last one for this cycle of the Healing the Trauma of Racism Alter. Diane from Social Work and I have talked about doing something else in a similar vein next year and maybe shifting the focus a little, what, what, what's calling for attention in our communities. So thank you for watching, uh, thank you for contributing, and let's keep finding creative ways to heal.